Hi there. You've just joined the beginning of a raid in Stentil Game, which is a completely free and open source online multiplayer role-playing game. So here the creatures are in Fado Battle Arena um, and they're waiting for me, the admin, to summon a whole bunch of creatures for them to attack. Um, raids are quite popular, so we've got a fair number of scripts to summon all these creatures quickly and efficiently. Um, and obviously there's actually a story behind what's going on. Uh, a little boy, Bobby, shouted that he hears some strange sounds from the battle arena and someone needs to check out what's going on. So all these players are busy occupied fighting the creatures that are being summoned. As you can see, there's some scripts that can summon automatic um, raids of different kinds of creature, all from the same family, and that's what I'm using there. I think we've had enough of the imperial creatures now, and we'll try something else. There's really quite a lot of creep, um, players here today. Excellent, and here's some big ones too, which is always everyone's favourite. Right, while these guys are occupied, I'm just going to go and grab a couple of extra special modified creatures I prepared earlier. I hid them. Um, I wrote down the IDs, hang on. So the issue is that um, I have to type really, really fast to be able to summon enough creatures to keep everyone busy. Um, there we go, right. There's a creature I prepared earlier. He's got extra health points, extra defense, and he's extra special, so it'll kind of keep the players occupied for a bit longer than normal, um, which makes my life quite a lot easier. And it's also a bit more interesting compared to normal. There's another special one. So they've been altered in advance by me. Now, I'm just going to launch a few more big raidy type ones. And then I'm just going to explain what's going on elsewhere in the arena. Okay, right. What's going on up here? There is a, um, a staircase and... If you're a lower level creature, you can't get into this more dangerous area. You need to be at least level 150. My admin is just going to jump upstairs to the area where some lower level players might be playing and keep them occupied too. The main thing is to kind of keep the lower level guys safe um, while keeping it interesting. And that's quite a challenge because... They've not been playing for as long. They can't take on as many creatures at once. Um, they just don't... Um, and I really don't want anyone to die, even though if you did die in a raid, it wouldn't be... Um, you wouldn't actually lose any health points or anything. Uh, sorry, you'd lose health points. You wouldn't lose any experience points. You'd be losing um, just perhaps items at the worst. Right, so I'm just using my memory, basically, of what... Um, of what creatures I know have got raid scripts to find to just quickly summon as much as I can. As you can see, quite a few players end up surrounded, but these guys, they help each other out. They're all going and killing um, and attacking people who seem to... Sorry, attacking the creatures that are on people that seem to be in trouble. So um, it works pretty well. Now these, oh, what's that one? Why is, oh no, that's just a crocodile. <laughs> I can see the creatures in yellow on my screen, so I was just a bit surprised to see a big one. Now I did prepare some bigger creatures for these guys too, but a lot weaker. I'll bring that one through. He's been altered to have much, much, much lower attack and defense than he would normally, but you'll get a bit more XP from killing him, and he'll also take longer to kill. Um, just going to jump back downstairs and see how things are going. Oh, wow, they really need things. Okay, let me show you a couple of other kinds of scripts we can do. We can um, summon plagues of creatures. Yeah, I really like them. These are poisonous, so you might see a lot of poison going for a minute. Um, so this summons um, a whole ring of creatures that are all the same size. So all the same type, just around you. Um, sorry, I spelled that wrong. Good, right. I think that will be everyone happy for a little while. Going back upstairs. 
how's things going here? Is anyone dying? No, my belly's fine, but he could do with more people to help him out. Is this one in trouble? She's only level eight. I'm gonna watch this one. What I've done before is actually destroyed a creature that was too dangerous for the thing, um, for the player that was it was being chased by. But I'm hoping Firefly's gonna be all right. She's looking okay for now. She's just running away from it. I'm surprised that the other players aren't helping her out. Okay, that's too much. I'm just gonna destroy that guy now um, and leave them all with something a bit safer. Let's try that. Does that even exist? Yes. Uh, hopefully that'll be okay. Let's do a few of them. They're quite fun. You know what? I don't see why the guys downstairs are like a few fairies as well. <laughs> These are going to be absolutely no problem for them to destroy, but um, they're kind of cute, aren't they? I quite like them. All right. So I hope that you've seen a little bit of the kind of challenges of um, trying to produce you know enough to keep people interested um, while keeping players safe while not sending the game out of balance I mean I, I could just summon a whole load of the biggest creatures in the game um, but you know we, we, we've limited the number of big creatures in the game for a reason so although special events are good because you get to try and attack new creatures um, I'd really rather not lessen the impact of the rare ones when you do find them by just um, you know creating loads here ad hoc. So I'm I'm trying to be careful to to summon a lot of kind of medium level interesting creatures, but not too many of the really really rare ones, um, because otherwise they'll just be less interesting in the long run and the game will get unbalanced. These angels are nice though. Okay, just going to check back upstairs. Yeah, they're okay. There's still a bunch of fairies for them to attack if they want to. And I can't see any actual player corpses. Everyone who was here is here, so I think we're okay. Um, there is another big creature that I saved earlier, so I'll just go and grab him. You know what, normally I don't even have time to do this, to prepare some creatures in advance. Where are you? There he is. Weak old ant. Okay, um, this is like a spare time project. I've got like a real life job and I'm just doing this for fun. I warned the players in like about an hour in advance that I was going to do a special event for them. Um, but I, you know, I had a few minutes to kill before I started, so I made these creatures. I moved them out of the view of the screen. Um, if I was running out of ideas, um, I could just go to the, um, what shall I get for them? Um, that might be a bit big, actually. I could go to here, the, um, I could go to the creatures page on the wiki. Um, and just have a look on our website that we've created this creatures page and see what other creatures I might think of summoning um, that the guys haven't seen for a while. Um, and that did just give me an idea there to do those lich ones. Um, and likewise, if I want to go and check out if a specific creature is going to be too much for... See, that's a bit much. I'm going to drop the attack there because I think he's struggling. Well, no, that's not too bad. No, okay, I'm going to leave that. He can burn some potions because he'll get a good reward for it anyway. Uh, I'm not sure. She might just be chilling out, so I think I might leave her alone. Okay. Great. So, I'm sorry. I've been really distracted while I've been talking to you because I've been trying to do this as well. But um, what I hope is that you've got to see uh, some of what we do behind the scenes when we do a raid. They need some more again. Um, as I said, if a player does die in the middle of this, then um, they're actually not at any ink disadvantage because they shouldn't be losing any of their hard-earned skills, unlike if they actually die during a normal battle. Um, but to be honest, I don't really want any player to die ever. I, I don't really like it, so I do just try and be really careful and keep a good eye of what's going on. With these higher-level players that are in this safe area, 
it's quite a lot easier for me there. Okay, and they're still busy. See, this is the great thing about these big ones, where there is this guy running around. Let's see if he can cope with that. Yeah, those are all right, so long as the cave trolls don't come. Let's see. 28. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> no, he's actually never going to kill it. Um, sometimes I just give a potion. Go on, take one. Oh, no, hang on. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get rid of them because I really... Okay, an orc chief will be alright for him and not worry is okay. Good stuff. She's not going to be alright. Okay, run away, run away. Run, run, run. Jumping back down to our friends down here. Again, they've run out of stuff. They can have the orcs, even though they're a bit lower level. Okay, um, so that's all. Sorry, I lost the track of what I was saying again. But <laughs> as you can see, it's just absolutely full time and full on. Um, trying to provide entertainment for as many people as possible while really keeping people safe. Uh, so thanks very much for listening. I really appreciate it. And um hope to see you in game sometime soon. It's uh, www.standorgame.org. You just need Java to play and you can play on Linux, Mac or Windows. And it's completely free and open source. So if you want to get involved, you can do that too.